are you doing here? I'm sorry by seeing you like this, Miss Ryan, but but I just seen you on the news, and and, and I'm one of your biggest fans, and and so I just I just had to come by and 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 give you a big kiss. <laughs> no, what's so funny, Ryan? I can't help it. I'm so happy. Oh, me too. I was on my way up to the Bronx. And unseen forces pushed me off the subway at your stop. Were you going to see Sister Mary Joel? Uh-huh. I tell her the good news. But first, I just had to stop for a minute to look at you and um, touch you. Make sure it's all real. It's the realest thing that ever happened to me. Finale, write that down. What? That stuff about off the subway, your stop. The stop where you live. There's a song in that. <laughs> you're a song. You're all the love songs, all the, all the happiness, all the dreams I've ever had. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Uh, I love you, Ryan. I love you. And I love Sister Mary Joel, and you better tell her. For it was Mary. And we you stay on pitch, Finelli? Oh, I love everybody. Good news? Yeah, I suppose it's good news when your daughter gets engaged. When she's engaged to a man you just had a fist fight with, well, uh, I figure it's a good idea to be prepared, stay in shape, just in case anything goes wrong with the engagement. <laughs> on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Well, how could you be so cruel? This week... There's a video of me naked on the internet. How am I ever gonna go back to school? Two parents face their worst fear. He's saying goodbye! Oh, my God. Watch One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. You never know when, but thieves can steal your identity, turning your life upside down in a matter of seconds. Hi. Hi. You know, I can save you 15% today if you open up a charge card account with us. You just read my mind. Just one little piece of information, and they can open bogus accounts, stealing your credit, your money, and ruining your reputation. That's why you need LifeLock. LifeLock is the leader in identity theft protection, relentlessly protecting your personal information to help stop the crooks in their tracks before your identity is attacked. Protecting your social security number, your bank accounts, even the equity in your home. I didn't know how serious identity theft was until I lost my credit and eventually I lost my home. Credit monitoring alone is not enough to protect your identity and only tells you after the fact, sometimes as much as 60 days later. With LifeLock, as soon as we spot a threat to your identity within our network, our advanced LifeLock ID alert system directly notifies you, protecting your identity before you become a victim. Identity theft was a huge, huge problem for me and it's gone away because of LifeLock. While no one can stop all identity theft, if the criminals do manage to steal your information, LifeLock is there to help fix it with our $1 million service guarantee. That's right, a $1 million service guarantee. Don't wait until you become the next victim. Call now to try LifeLock risk-free for two full months. That's right, 60 days risk-free. Use promo code NORISK. If you're not completely satisfied, notify LifeLock and you won't pay a cent. 
Order now and also get this document shredder to keep your personal documents out of the wrong hands. A $29 value free. Get the protection you need right now. Call 1-800-551-3856 or go to lifelock.com to try LifeLock risk-free for a full 60 days. Use promo code no risk. Plus get this document shredder free, but only if you act right now. Call 1-800-551-3856 now. LifeLock service guarantee cannot be offered to residents of New York. Yes, I've seen that. Well, it's been haunting me all day. A doctor under arrest and Seneca Bolak, no less. Well, it's tragic, doctor. It's regrettable, to say the least. And now, what did you want to see me about, Roger? Well, about this. Well, what about it? Well, I was wondering what you're going to do about it. <laughs> Roger, I can't control the press. I told you I've seen it, so if that's the reason for this meeting, we can end it right here. Well, perhaps you're not aware, doctor, but as of this morning's newspaper, Everyone in this hospital has been placed in a terribly embarrassing and precarious position. Embarrassing, perhaps, but uh, precarious. How? Suppose uh, a patient shows me a, a copy of this newspaper and wants to know if the doctor in question is the same doctor who's in charge of our department. Has that happened? Oh, no, not yet, but it's bound to. And I'd hate to be the one who would have to explain to that patient how a physician under indictment for murder can be trusted with the lives of other people. Then don't be the one to make that explanation. Refer the matter to me as chief of staff, and I'll see the patient personally. But don't you see how everyone is in danger? Well, Roger, you said that twice. I'm missing something here, and it's getting me a little puzzled. You say that everyone in the hospital is embarrassed, and yet no one else on staff has come to see me about it. Your interest, your embarrassment, evidently is much greater, certainly more urgent. Why? Well, I'm concerned, Doctor. I'm deeply concerned about my staff and the people on my service. All right, you've made that point. Now, what do you suggest I do about it? Please, Doctor, understand that I'm not presuming to tell you how to run your hospital. Then what is on your mind? Let's have it. I think Seneca Bolak should be dismissed at once. Come in. Oh, I'm sorry, Marshal. I can come back. Uh, no, Seneca. Uh, please stay and close the door. Roger has just raised the question of the uh, propriety of your staying on staff while you're under indictment. Mm. Well, I'm not surprised. If it were up to Roger, I would be dismissed, convicted, and sentenced. Oh, that's not true, Seneca. I'm thinking of the good of Riverside Hospital. But since it's not up to Roger, I have only been indicted. Oh, on account of first-degree murder? I've committed no crime, and I have every hope that the courts will decide that no crime has been committed. Seneca, now cut the legal footwork. Now what you did, whether you get away with it or not, was a crime against humanity and medicine. Now, the grounds you used for my dismissal were nothing compared to that. What grounds? For what dismissal? Seneca? You mean you don't know? No. What's this all about? Seneca? Well, I told Roger when his contract expires in June, it would not be renewed. Why not? Roger? Well, the matter involves Roger's gambling, losing heavily, and as a consequence, association with certain unsavory business types. Possible theft? and apparent blackmail. It wasn't blackmail, it was a loan. A loan? To repay gambling debts to racketeers? Dr. Westheimer, I, I always assumed that Seneca, Seneca had told you all about it. Not a word. I think I understand what was missing here, Roger. With Seneca off the staff, you'd stand a better chance of staying on it. I believe, with all my heart, that Seneca's presence in this hospital is a great and dangerous liability. And I happen to believe he's an asset. The law can take its course, and while it does, Seneca will continue to maintain his position in this hospital. He helps to make Riverside one of the finest medical facilities in this country. And I intend to stand behind him in every way possible. A begonia and chocolates? 
I, uh, I would have brought a rainbow, but I couldn't get it on the subway. Jack. What? Butter wouldn't melt. Hmm? Charm coming out of your ears. What have you been up to? You fox. <laughs> Joe, I think I'm happier than I've ever been in my whole life. I just solved all my problems. Oh? Well, all that were important, I did it. I, I gave Mary Ryan an engagement ring. Oh, Jack. Well, aren't you happy? Yes, but... Yes, but, but uh, I'm sure you approve of the choice. Of course I do. When's the happy day? Well, uh, let's take one happy day at a time. I just gave her the ring. But you must have some idea when you're getting married. I don't want to deal with dates just now, not when I feel so light and full of spring. You know, you know, this is the first time I've ever really felt a part of spring. I always used to wonder what people uh, saw in this season. Now I know. You got to be in love with one girl. Be sure that she loves you. And the whole world's green and full of hope and at peace. Oh, you deserve that feeling, Jack. And you deserve to savor it. First real spring. And everything surrounding you and Mary is now at peace. I think so. Yeah. Mary's parents? Like magic. Ring makes all the difference. Doubtless because it's a sign to them that you really are committed to Mary. But don't you think you'd better give some consideration to setting a date? I will. As we said the other night, it's a serious matter. Well, I don't want to get serious. Not right now when I feel so good. Jack. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'll give it consideration, but not just now, OK? You're evading the question. What does that ring mean to you right this minute? Time. What? I didn't hear you. Time. Time. I told you. I tried to explain it to you. I, I couldn't lose Mary. I couldn't let her slip out of my life that way. I had to give us some time. I know we're right for each other, but I'm the only one. Well, we're the only two that know. Everybody else wants to push us into a formal, permanent relationship, which would be wrong for us now. Us? You and Mary, or just you? Me. But if it's wrong for me, it's wrong for us. So, you're using this engagement as a smoke screen against Mary's family. No. I love her. But they won't believe it. The ring is the only way I can make them believe it. That ring is not a mere proof of love. It's a promise of marriage. You're engaged to be married. I want to be. I truly want to be. But you, I love Mary. you've yet to decide whether or not you'll marry. <sighs> Come on, Joe. I have decided. I just don't know when. Now, that, that just take a little time, that's all. So, you've come to me for approval, with guilt in every word you say. You know what you've done, as well as I do. I don't have to tell you. Well, what's, what's wrong with long engagements? They, they probably make for better marriages. Doing the right thing with a vengeance. Oh, come on, Joe. You're not going to bring that up again. I... No, you are. I want you to think about it, Jack. <sighs> I was just a kid. I, a frightened, confused kid. I... You lost something. I'm trying with all your might to get it back. <sighs> it was a phase every kid goes through. It seems to me you're going through it right now. <sighs> Look, Joe. I was 12 years old when you left the orphanage. Now, you can't... And what did you do? Tried to get you back. How? It, 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 it's not the. How? By being the best little boy in the orphanage. A snitcher, a tattletale. You were on your best behavior, better than your best, which is normally quite mischievous. You decided to be a policeman for the whole orphanage and get the other boys to mistrust you so that you'd be sent away. The right thing with a vengeance is wrong. You gave a lot of pain, made a lot of enemies then, Jack. I'm very disturbed and worried about you now. Now I'll include you in my prayers, hoping that in the last analysis, you'll be the man Mary Ryan deserves. The man you promised her you are. It was me? Why, Jake? 
this week. I had a shot or two. You were drunk. A tragedy tears a father and son apart. <laughs> and Luke faces the hitman who gave up everything. You were drunk, and my son died because of me. Watch General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. Mommy's got a surprise for you. <laughs> want to see what's in it? Yeah. <gasps> you want to make these? You put it in here? Yeah, put it in there. Okay, just press. I'm going to give you some M&M's to put in there. Ready? And then you want to take this, put it together. Shake it. <laughs> <laughs> you making for the Easter Bunny? No, me. Uh, this Easter, bring a tradition out of its shell. Rice Krispies. irritated skin not only does Cordae 12 hour advanced cream relieve itch fast but a clinical study shows its unique itch shield technology lasts longer than the leading cream for 12 hour protection for long lasting protection try Cordae are you a 24 7 mom know someone who is go to esterc.com and enter the 24 7 mom contest you could win a cruise spa treatments housekeeping enter at esterc.com 24 7 moms deserve ester c the better vitamin c would you be so cruel? This week. There's a video of me naked on the internet. How am I ever gonna go back to school? Two parents face their worst fear. You say goodbye! Oh my god. Watch One Life to Live weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 9 on SoapNet. for a little relaxation for a change. I'm uh, afraid not. A conference, but it's more cheerful here than at the hospital. Oh, you both must be exhausted. Well, we have to stay on top of it. The DA's setting a very fast yeah. pace. Well, pick your conference table. <coughs> Thanks, Maeve. Oh, Jill, I've been meaning to thank you for taking Mary in the other night. Maeve, she was hardly there. Oh, still, she had some place to go that was loving and neutral. That's very important. I thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I haven't seen her since. But uh, I did get one of those wonderful three-word notes of hers. Ah, yes. <laughs> she has her mother's talent with the pen. <laughs> <laughs> right. I uh, can't say I'm too thrilled about her going back to Jack's. You haven't heard? They're engaged. What? That's right. Jack put the ring on her finger right there in your apartment yesterday. Uh, uh, well, I guess I, I should say congratulations. <laughs> I can understand your confusion. We were a little taken by surprise ourselves. But all feelings aside, it's time to rally round. Right. <laughs> congratulations. Oh, good. And listen, I'm not worried about Mary for a minute. She's the best. And she's going to be fine. I appreciate that. Now, I won't keep you from your conference. Thanks. Congratulations, Mary. Thank you, Senator. Mary and Jack engaged. And I take it you don't think it's a very good idea. Well, I hope it is. But you're still instinctively happy for me. And I thought you handled that whole situation with a great deal of kindness. What else could I do? No, oh, hey. A lot of people would respond in a different way. Now, you seem to, you seem to think about people. You seem to know what they're feeling. And if you don't, you find out before you do or say anything. See, that's very rare. You analyze it. <laughs> no. No, oh, no, no. I'm just making an <laughs> observation. Here, yeah. take this meeting, for instance. I, th I think that uh, you've been quite sensitive. Have I? Yes. I think you've scheduled most of our meetings for late in the afternoon because, you know, I don't want to go back to the empty apartment. Hmm? Well, I don't think that's the only reason. No, but it's a consideration. Oh, come on, Jill. Admit it. You're a very nice person. <laughs> yeah, I actually I am. I and mean, I'm also very clever. You see, I know that I'll have more of a chance of your full attention at this hour when you're away from all the hospital pressures. And also because I... Well, two reasons are good enough. Well, come on, now, what were you gonna say? Well, I have an empty apartment, too. So that's why I like to uh, work at night. That's another reason. There you go. I guess we make the ideal lawyer and client. <laughs> well, I hope so, because I want to win this case. You know, I have been giving a great deal of thought to the whole situation about who our strongest witnesses are going to be. Oh? Yeah, and mainly I think that we can depend on Clem to help us a lot. You do? Yes, even more than Bucky. See, in the first place, Bucky is a relative of mine. Not blood, but he's still a nephew. And I'm sure the jury would take much of what he said with some kind of reservation. 
You understand that much about the psychology of juries? Well, not firsthand, of course, but I can imagine how they'd respond. All right, now, Clem was Nell's physician. Mm -hmm. He knew how she felt about life support. And, uh, well, this is something you may not know, but uh, I think he's on my side. Really? I didn't talk to him about it. I, I followed your instructions to the letter. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, I, I just, I get that feeling. I see. So I think you might do both of us a lot of good. You had a little talk with Clem. <laughs> Seneca, I have. I spoke to Clem and we talked about his testimony for the grand jury. And he was very cooperative. And I know he's on your side. Huh. <laughs> You're amazing. What's so funny? You can't stand to see somebody else in control. I mean, you have this irresistible impulse to take over. Oh. Sorry, I guess I just can't help it. it the lumber mill syndrome keeps coming back. <laughs> the lumber mill syndrome? <laughs> yeah. That's what Nell used to call it when I was less graceful than usual in asserting myself. Ah, oh, I see. You see, my mother and I inherited the mill. Mm -hmm. So it was up to us, a woman and a small boy, to protect my father's share. Mm -hmm. Now, with the likes of, of uh, Uncle Antoine and that particular <laughs> group of lumberjacks, you were either in control or you were in the lion's cage without a whip. I mean, have you ever tried to keep a gang of drunken lumberjacks from tearing down a fence? <laughs> huh? I see what you mean. So if I start to bark out at you, you just tell me to shut up. Seneca, I don't need your permission. Hmm. <laughs> you know, this may not be the easiest case that I've ever had to handle, but it certainly is gonna be the most interesting. <laughs> Next, take a trip to the Upper West Side on Ryan's Hope. Later, spend some time in Genoa City with the Young and the Restless, only on SoapNet. Want more of your favorite soaps? That's great. Log on to abc.com slash daytime. Watch current full episodes of All My Children, General Hospital, and One Life to Live. Online critics love it. Plus, get exclusive sneak peeks of what's coming up next. Sounds like a thumbs up to me. Connect with other fans to discuss what's on your mind. I always want to hear what you have to say. And check out the 101 galleries to get an intimate look at the history of your favorite characters. That's the best news I've heard all day. Find it all now at abc.com slash daytime. Imagine, what if you could grow young? Inspired by 10 years of research on gene science, L'Oreal introduces Youth Code, the new era in skin care. L'Oreal's Youth Code speeds up genes recovery power. In just one drop, skin instantly improves. In one week, it begins to look younger. In one month, it acts dramatically younger. New Youth Code regenerating skin care, only from L'Oreal. Inspired by gene science. Now, crack the code to younger acting skin. Because you're worth you're it. Worth it. Worth Slim Quick is the number one selling weight loss brand for women. I lost 54 pounds with Slim Quick. I lost 26 pounds with Slim Quick. I lost 34 pounds with Slim Quick. Slim Quick contains a clinically researched key ingredient. Start losing up to 25 pounds today with Slim Quick. I finally found a body wash that moisturizes and softens my dry skin. New Gold Bond Ultimate Deep Moisture. Richer than the leading body wash with more moisturizers and vitamins combined. New Gold Bond Deep Moisture. The body wash that moisturizes like a lotion. We have our own way of thinking. We think sustainability is nothing new. We think justice is older than any government. We think we can grow radishes on the moon. We think education is for the mind and the spirit. We think Indian. Help tribal college students preserve their way of thinking. Next Wednesday on an all-new Being Erica. He's great. I'm happy. Only two episodes left until the shocking season finale. We are back in business. And Erica's finally living out her dreams. To the future. What could possibly go wrong? Do you want to come in? Life can turn on a dime. This whole concept of soulmates, life's a bit more complicated than that. I feel a real connection with you. And suddenly something shifts. Who's that? Erica, what are you doing here? Being Erica. All new next Wednesday at 11. Only on SoapNet. The truth is out. Their lives exposed. Their secrets revealed. <gasps> the book everyone's talking about. And now the reviews are in. You're gonna burn one book this year?
burn this one. The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli is hitting the shelves, and things will never be the same on General Hospital. Scandalous. The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli, available April 5th at abc.com and wherever books are sold. Who still uses the word minx? Oh, thank you, Kevin. But just remember, a ring in the springtime means a baby in the wintertime. So there better be a wedding in the summertime. <laughs> uh, but he's lucky to get you. Imagine a guy named Fanelli having the luck of the Irish. <laughs> Hello, Paris. Hi there, sweetheart. <laughs> Jack, come in here and join this hug. Come on, Jack. You better learn to throw your arms around her when she tells you. There's no control in her. <laughs> Hi. Congratulations on your engagement, Mr. Fennelli. Well, uh, congratulations on yours, Miss Ryan. Is this a private party, or can anybody join? Oh, oh no. Come on, Angel. <laughs> it's very private. It's only dear family, love, and friends. Anybody else who's cheerful enough to celebrate the upcoming nuptials? Ah, <laughs> let's give us all a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know what this is. It's a druid circle, right? All right. And I got a good idea. Let's take this druid circle out into the street and we'll make a regular block party out of it. What do you say to that, Jack? Uh, all right, fine. Oh, and who's going to be minding the store while you're all pouring out into the street? Oh, no, don't pay any attention to him, Jack. We're going to have the party right here and have the block come into us. Uh, hey, okay. I think it's a perfect idea. We have the wind out of the street. We get Barbary to shut down traffic for the night and make the whole celebration of the one huge block party. Wouldn't that be an ideal kind of wedding for Mary? Say yes, 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 honey. I love it. Hi, How are you, Jack? Well, great. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll wear a tux and roller skates. Oh, <laughs> when is this wedding? Well, it better be soon. If it's going to be outdoors, it can't be in the middle of December. No, okay. That's right. We have to buy special wardrobes. <laughs> And and how'd you them. like, how'd you like a, to be a June bride, sweetheart? Well, I'd love it. Well, there, you heard the lady, Jack. <laughs> but I do not want the reception in the street. Well, no, any hotel, uh, any uh, hall no, in town. No, there is only one kind of place for that kind of a party, and it's right here. At right. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you really mean that? Oh. I do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be lovely. I'm a fine nuptial mass at the church, and we'll all troop around the corner and have a reception right here. Perfect. Oh, that, 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 that sounds like a real Ryan wedding. Of course. <laughs> yeah, sure. does, hey, uh, yes, don't I get a vote? Do you mind? Oh, it's not that I mind. It, it's just, uh... Oh, God. I, I guess it, it doesn't matter much. Well, I'm going to have to alert Father McShane. He likes lots of notice to post the bands. You well, know. listen, seeing as how it's Mary, maybe he'd uh, get a little money together and give the church a fresh coat of paint. Oh, so. don't leave that poor priest alone about that church. It looks just fine. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> I think it needs a will be married at St. A sometime in June, and there's going to be one terrific party here afterwards. That's, uh, you know. that's what it looks like, all right. I know. Oh. Hey, come on, set him up for everybody. Drinks on the house, yeah, folks. Irish We're going to drink to a Joan wedding. How about that? Yeah. Are you OK? Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. I mean, it doesn't have to be this way if you don't want it. Oh, he's got to get rid of it. Oh, let him, let him have their fun. We'll talk about it later, huh? Are you sure? Well, sure, sure, I'm sure. I think it's going to be fantastic, Mary. Mary, come on over here, you oh, Carl. Come on. Set her up. Give her a little light. Great party, my dear. Oh, 